Hello, I'm Alexandre Rangel and I'm here to present the interface of the VJ software Quasi Cinema. So, this is the main interface of the software. Here we can see an area of the clips on the hard disk on which uh, we can uh, mouse over to see the preview here. And we have also an icon to change the active directory so we can browse another directory. And here we have the preview of the output. And here a column with uh, four video layers. Here we have uh, layer one with uh, four videos inside of it, making a mini sequence. And we have a slider to control the position of the playback head, as we can see here. A slider to control the speeds of the playback of the video, that can go up to five times the original speeds and to zero. We have sliders to change the color of the active video based on primary color subtraction. We have a slider for opacity and a slider for volume if the video has audio. Here on the layer two, we can see uh, the toggle for the layer visibility and also a slider that changes the composite method. So we can lighten the pixels of the background layer, darken them. We can turn this off. And we have here on the right sliders for uh, automation based on uh, beats per minute. So here we're going to turn on the beats per minute of the visibility and the layer blinks with the velocity set here. And turn this off, okay. And back on layer one, so here we have a slider for changing the active video of the sequence. We have a slider for changing the position of the playback head randomly based on beats per minute. We have a slider for changing the color also. All these changes can be seen here on this preview window. And a beats per minute slider to change the colors to, the, to their inverse. And so we have the four video layers. And then on the right, we have a layer for live camera, which can be connected via USB or Firewire. We have a, a layer for a 3D file. And then we can change the, the bits per minute for the rotation and the size, as well as changing the color. And we have a layer for still images. We can change the image here. And we can also use images with uh, alpha channel. And we can change the, the color of the layer based on bits per minute, uh, just like the video layers. Turn this off. And we have a, a layer just for text, on which we can type the text here. And it goes live to the output. And we can also change the, the font and the horizontal and vertical position, as well as the BPM for visibility, color. And then here, we can see the, the other areas of the software. A uh, browser for the audio files, and a uh, preferences screen, on which we can change the language of the interface, uh, change the output of the video window size, and, and here we have a shortcut list. And here on the main interface, we also have the, a slider for a fade out to fade the output. And we here we are using the main module. Now we're going to the live cinema module, which has a base video layer, uh, an overlay video layer, and two audio layers all with uh, individual volume controls. So if you put a video file uh, on, the, on the first column, it starts playing. And on the second column, we make uh, two choices. Here, and, and on the second, we put this video here. So when the video is over, it jumps to the next column and randomly chooses a video. Unless we click here to set a preference, so the video will automatically go to this point. We can control the position of the playback head of each video here. 
and uh, right here we have uh, an overlay layer on which you can also put videos and work with uh, transparency modes and down here we have two audio layers on which we can put some uh, audio files which can be a uh, WAV files or MP3 so we have two layers so we can put uh, a background music here and some voiceovers here and remembering that if any QuickTime over here has audio it also plays with the individual volume controls so now we're going to fade to black and this is it thank you and the software can be downloaded at uh, www.quasicinema.org and thank you very much bye bye